deception. Charmed. Juggling. Children and stars. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Acidy Crow and thanks very much for joining me on this short documentary about magic. But we're not just going to be showing you tricks, no, we're going to go behind all that and find out the facts. Why has magic changed so much over the decades? Why aren't there more female magicians in the world? And just what does the future hold for this performing art? All this and more coming up on this documentary, so don't go away. If you think of a magician from decades ago, you're likely to picture a guy in a theatre wearing a top hat and tailcoat with his dazzling female assistant by his side. But this wasn't always the case. Back in the 17th century, magicians were often dressed in mad looking outfits and pointy wizard hats. The suave sophisticated look that we know today came about thanks to a magician in the 19th century named Robert Houdin, often called the father of modern day magic. With the introduction of cinema and later on television, all this soon changed as more and more people chose these new technologies over a live magic show. The only way the magician could survive was to adapt to this, and so the TV magician was born. So nowadays, if you ask anyone to name a magician, they'll most likely say... David Copperfield. Paul Jenkins. Twitter at the moment, who keeps jumping into water and trying to drown himself. Danny Blaine. You might have noticed that those are all names of street magicians who are also on TV. So in many ways, magic has now gone back to its origin of street performers. Fortunately, without the weird costumes. PK Card. Oh man. What? to the case of the female magician. Are there any? I don't know any. Don't know any. <laughs> Sorry. Great Carduso's wife. I think they've proven my point. Ask anyone to name a female magician and most of the time they'll be stuck for words. The Magic Circle has 1,452 members. 1,383 of those are male, yet only 69 are female. Why is that? Is it simply because magic isn't interesting to females? Is it because the first magicians are most likely male? I haven't got a clue, but I know some people who might. Maybe it's a case of boys and toys, you know. Um, it's like boys being into train sets and girls aren't. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% uh, sure, to be honest. But uh, it doesn't mean to say that, uh, that they're no worse than the, than the male magicians, certainly. A lot of female magicians here put, the, put the men to shame in this organisation. Boys are quite happy to sit in their bedrooms on their own, their own company, playing with a pack of cards, watching DVDs. Girls are sociable. Girls like to be out with their friends or on the phone to their friends. They don't like so solitary occupations. I, I think it's probably because uh, la ladies um, actually can do lots of other things which are interesting to the public, like dancing and, and singing and, and all that sort of thing, and they have their own, they have their own magic. I think there's going to be more of the same on the street, but really and primarily I think it should be magic to suit the personality of the magician that they find. Being at the grassroots, at the Young Magicians Club, I don't see that. I see auditions with ten stage acts, virtually all of them identical, doing the same classic magic that's been done for centuries. There is no change at the bottom level. Those ideas don't seem to come until much further down the line. And I think there is a place for both that kind of magic and the classic normal magic, if you want to call it that. And there always will be. I think we will probably go back to doing some, some straightforward magic, which is some... Um, I mean, my, my idea of magic is that it should be entertaining and funny, uh, but uh, not to upset anybody. So there you have it. The reason there aren't more female magicians is simply because we're more sociable and can do certain things that some guys can't.
very much for watching. And remember, next time you're watching magic, whether it be at home, on the street, or maybe even in a theatre, remember, female magicians do exist because you've been watching one. And as for the future of magic, well, who knows? I guess it's just up to me and my fellow magicians. It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. A kind of magic. You may have noticed those are all names of street magicians who are also on TV. So in many ways, magic has now gone back to its origin. What? <laughs> what was that? Magic has now gone back to its I'm origin. <laughs> Magic, 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 magic! Ah! <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> Whatever, turn it off, I'm going home. <laughs>